the skills that we teach in the English department are just incredibly applicable to a number of different jobs. All of the friends that I have in the tech sector are always begging me to send them students because what they really need in industry, especially in the tech industry, is people who can communicate clearly and who can think critically. And those are two of the things we teach our students to do. Of course, we also prepare students for graduate school. Uh, we have students who go on to be grant writers or proposal writers in the nonprofit sector. But the skills that we teach in the English department are just incredibly applicable to a number of different jobs. Part of the college experience, certainly what it was for me, is really delving into something that you really love. And when you do that, uh, you learn a lot of different thinking skills, a lot of analytical skills. Uh, certainly in English, you learn a lot about writing. And I think all of these are things that translate into a good job. Of course, there are also jobs that you can get that specifically rely on English, like journalism or any kind of writing. In my area, in linguistics, uh, a lot of work is being done on computation. Um, so linguists are valuable in these big kind of companies. Uh, but I think one of the most important things is really to take a look at your, to, to use your college experience as a, a way to really explore a passion. And in that process, to develop a lot of these skills that are going to be valuable for a job later on. I think students should consider a major or minor in English because it's a field that's so widely applicable across career paths and um, in addition to that it's just fascinating in itself. It's a major that I enjoy going to my classes every day. I enjoy working with my professors and I've seen myself improve so much by studying it. It's the most basic way of communicating massively in this world so I think it's very important to have that as a skill even if it's not even a minor or a major, I think it's very important that people know how to do this to be able to communicate effectively. English is a degree that prepares students for a range of kinds of, of work and professions and graduate study. So we have students who've gone on to editing, professional writing, grant writing, nonprofit administration, museum work. It also prepares students really well for law school, especially our literature program, as well as business school and even medical school, because medical schools need uh, doctors who can communicate. We don't just all study Chaucer or Shakespeare or 19th century British literature. We have people who work on English in a global Anglophone context, meaning how English gets spoken in India and in Africa and how it gets changed in those contexts. We have people, we have linguists in our department, so people who study the actual structure of language and how it's used to form communities. We have rhetoricians like myself who study how communities form around language and persuasion and argument. And we have literature scholars, we have film scholars. So we we have an incredible variety of things that students can really use to follow their ambitions um, and their interests. The Cinema and Media Studies minor in our English department is wonderful and wonderfully inclusive. Um, if you have an interest in cinema, broadly defined, you can include courses in the minor that are taken from all around the university. There are courses in history, in, in journalism, you name it. So long as there is enough of the course work that includes cinema, that can be included in the minor. This means you can pursue your interests wherever they take you and find a home and a way to get those courses credited. I have a professor for both ethics and literature and children's literature, and she's just an incredible teacher. She like delves into the nuances of words in ways I've never thought of before. It's the rhetoric of hip hop, and that was hands down my favorite class because it was the first time I realized that pop culture does have a place in academia and it's equally as relevant. And so I think that one was really exciting. I walked into her class thinking I'm a hardcore feminist, I'm super woke, um, and I reached a new level of that. And you know, she introduced me for the first time to queer theory, which was a revelation for me personally. And yeah, I'm really grateful for that. The professors really care about like each individual student, especially since the class sizes are so small, like 30-ish people per class. So you actually build personal connections with the professors. And I feel like every single professor I've had has like made me feel seen and like has been super helpful. I am fully engaged with your writing. Um, looking at the story that you're telling, the way you're telling it, what, what the object objectives seem to be, um, looking at it on its own terms, and that includes whatever genre you're writing in. 
And in the English department, that's what we offer. That sort of personal and individual engagement with you and your work. And being, you know, really encouraged by the English department to go to grad school for creative writing. I couldn't have guessed the experience would be so much fun and so fulfilling and that I wouldn't want it to end. My hope is to never stop writing.